Hi, today I'm going to make a um, shortcut vegetable soup with meatballs instead of using ground beef. Saves a, saves a girl some time. So, in the crock pot or pressure cooker, whichever, this is a pressure cooker, but it has the slow cooker feature. Uh, I'm just, I put in about a pound of regular frozen meatballs. You do however many you like. I'm a family of three, so we have maybe, I don't know, 25 meatballs in there, and they're just, you know, appetizer size, small size. And then over here, over here, those are the meatballs that I use, the half ounce meatballs, but you can do whatever size you like. You could even go homemade meatballs, but I pick those up at Sam's. Um, but I have... A 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, two cans of mixed vegetables, green beans, and two stewed tomatoes. And those are just the 15 ounce cans. And I'm not going to drain anything. I'm actually going to add, just open them, dump them right into the crock pot. So when I get them added, I'll bring you right back. Also, guys, I wanted to remind you or add to the video that I put in about a cup, cup and a half of beef broth. If you don't have the beef broth, I just had some in the fridge. You could just use water to uh, thin out the tomatoes, uh, crushed tomatoes. Okay, you can see I added all of the vegetables, um, the cup and a half of beef broth. Um, for right now, I really only put one can of the stewed tomatoes in. I'm going to see um, it, after I get it mixed up if I want to add the other can. So I'm going to go in and just get, get it all mixed up. And I'm going to put some salt and pepper, some uh, Italian seasoning in it. You do whatever seasonings pref you prefer. Uh, some people like a little bit of sugar in it to cut the acid in the tomatoes. I don't. I'm just going to leave it with the salt, pepper, stewed tomatoes. You can see it is not uh, watery. It's not so okay, guys. I got it all mixed up. Now I'm gonna go grab my seasoning, get that added, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I got my that's a tablespoon of garlic powder, my Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up. And then that's about it. We're going to put it on low for four to six hours, or you could even do eight because everything is done. So you really don't want, um, you know, you don't want it to cook uh, your vegetables mushy, you know, because they are mine are canned. But you definitely could put fresh vegetables in, and then you would cook it on, um, you know, you could even cook it on high four to you know two to four hours but since everything in my soup is already made I'm just going to put it on keep warm um, and I'm going to just leave it there for about eight hours until dinner because right now it's it's only about nine o'clock in the morning but we usually eat dinner between four thirty five o'clock uh, just because my husband works funny hours so but that's it guys when it's all done I will uh, leave a review and let you know how it turned out. It's just a quick and easy go-to dinner. Warm your body, warm your soul. Any soup's good for it. Okay, thanks for watching.